San Francisco security guard now facing murder charges after allegedly shooting and killing a woman inside a Walgreens. Good evening. I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. Our Kenny Choi was at the Walgreens today trying to piece together what happened. Kenny, what did you find out? Listen, and Ryan, we have identified the person, the security guard who was involved in the shooting last night, as well as the person who was killed. San Francisco police also confirming that a theft did occur and that this incident is under investigation and that the person, the security guard, has been arrested on suspicion of murder. Iro works near the Walgreens on Market Street in Union Square cleaning sidewalks. He sees everything from petty crime to violent confrontations in the area. People just walk in, they steal, you know, they be uh, belligerent, they be disrespectful. And um, a lot of times the security guards, I mean, they're overwhelmed. Last night, an alleged shoplifting incident turned into a chaotic scene. Police say an armed security guard opened fire, shooting 24 year old China Brown. She died on the way to the hospital. The security guard has been identified as 33 year old Michael Earl Wayne Anthony from Oakland. I was on my way out. I was, I was like by the little pay thing, but she was out before me. And as soon as we was walking out, over here is boom, boom. And she dropped to the floor. I'm looking at her, and that was that. Anthony worked for Kingdom Group Protective Services Private Security. According to a state database, he has a permit to act as an armed guard. What could have been stolen that warranted taking that warranted taking a life? Michael Huff is a criminal defense attorney with a law enforcement background. Here's someone usually in uniform, maybe even even armed, that will deter crime. But in the event that a crime occurs, unless there is um, significant great bodily injury or death that's in jeopardy, lethal force is generally going to be considered excessive. The latest SFPD report shows gun violence and gun related deaths are tracking slightly lower compared to the same time period in 2022 and lower than 2021. Regular customers say there's rampant shoplifting daily, but most incidents end with a confiscation of items rather than an escalation of violence. It's just an unfortunate situation, and I feel like. You know, it needs to be addressed, you know, in the proper fashion by the proper authorities that, you know, deal with that type of situation. The Walgreens spokesperson sent us a statement that reads in part, the safety of our patients, customers and team members is our top priority and violence of any kind will not be tolerated in our stores. They are cooperating with local authorities. We also reached out to the private security guard company that employs this person who is under arrest on suspicion of murder. That company says that they are not able to comment on this matter at this time. And Kenny, any idea what led up to this? Was there a struggle? What, what escalated this to this level of violence? So those are the uh, questions uh, that are trying to be answered by the San Francisco Police Department. They are investigating this, but all they would say is that a theft did occur. The details of that uh, have not yet been revealed. All right.